Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about field context. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the merch and the paid courses, everything is in the description below. Let's jump into Jira. Okay, so in Jira, I'm going to give you a brief demo of what a field context is, and then I'm going to show you how to change it. So what is a field context? Well, let me give you an example because a picture is worth a thousand words. If you ever go to create an issue and you can come in here and notice that I'm under the project price and performance. When I scroll down, I'm looking at this specific field called change type. When I click into it, I see three values, standard, normal, and emergency. Great. Now, if I go to a different project, I'm in this demo contracts now one. And if I hit create here and I come down all the way down to my change type, You'll notice that I also have standard, normal, and emergency. And what if I have two different teams that want to have the same field called change type, but they have different reasons or different values for their change type. And so I'm going to show you instead of recreating change type one and change type two and having two separate fields, I'm going to show you how you can leverage one field and add a new field context to essentially use the same field, but present different values to the users. So let's take a look and see how to do that in Jira. So inside of Jira, again, you are going to want to be a project admin. You're going to want to go to the gear, to issues, and then over on the left to custom fields. And then from there, you're going to want to select the custom field that you want to add a context to. And so I'm already at my change type custom field here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this add new context. And when I do that, I'm going to be presented with a couple of options. First, I have to give it a label. So I'm going to just call this one the PNP context. And then from there, you get to make a couple of other decisions. Do you want to apply this to only one specific issue type? Maybe you want your bugs to have different values, or do you just not care and want to give it to all your issue types? So you do have options and you kind of need to know what you want. I'm going to just accept it for any issue type. Down below though, this is where I'm going to find the project that I'm looking at and since this one is for PMP, I'm going to come and find my price and performance project here, and I'm going to click on add. And what this is going to do is it's basically going to create two contexts, one that's still going to be global for all the projects, and then one very specific for my PNP. Now, if you wanted to, and just because I don't feel like doing it, if you wanted to, you can create a context for project one, a context for project two, and then leave global as a third context. Now, I'm just going to do the global and then one specific for one project because I'm lazy and it's a little bit more efficient for the purpose of this demo. But again, do it right in your environment. Do as I say, not as I do. So now back in Jira, now we will see that we have two contexts. We have the default one, which is again, going to apply globally for everything. And then we have the one that's very specific for my practice and performance. And what I can do now is now I have the ability to edit my options. And so in here, I'm going to do, I'm going to put new add, I'm going to do refurb, add, and demolition. I don't know. Just make something up, right? But whatever it is, you want to make sure that these values are different than the other context values because if they're the same, then there's no point in doing this. But you'll see now that I have two different contexts and they're applicable to the projects. So let's jump back over to the DC project. I'm going to do a quick refresh just so that I can grab my new changes. And I'm going to go back to hit create. And so what I expect to see here is when I go down to the change type field, I expect to see the, def the default ones that we had to so standard, normal, and emergency. Okay, that's great. Now, when I go and refresh my price and performance project, I expect this field to be different. So drum roll, please. If I scroll down, I now expect to see different values. And as you can see, I now have new refurb and demolition. And that's how you do the field context. As you can see, it's the same field, just two different types of values served up to the different users, depending on which project they're on, depending, again, depending on whatever configuration you want to do, but it does help you use Jira as an administrator a little bit more efficiently, because instead of having so many fields that do basically similar things, just different values for different users, you can leverage the same field 
and it's Jira's going to worry about it. Jira's going to know which project it's in and it's going to serve up the correct values depending on the right project. I urge you to consider using field context. It's a little bit more of an advanced feature, but it's a cool feature nonetheless. Something that I tend to use, I probably use it about 10, 15% of the time. I don't really use it all that much, but hopefully it helps you out. And if it does, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you made it this far. And also if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, use the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out the merch. And don't forget that if you want to take your skills to the next level, I now have three paid courses available in the description below. Check them out, enroll, and I'll see you in class or I'll see you in the next video. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.